All right, the breadcrumbs are at the top. All right, and here goes the story. And the subject matter is the, underneath it. Obviously, we sell compound sign bars, and this is what it's all about, right? Recently, we, we issued a worldwide challenge to everybody out there, right? To do set an angle more precise and faster than we could, all right? It was called Precision Spindle Angle Mean Mill. Felt a little comfortable about the challenge, right? But I was apprehensive about what I'd get for comments, right? One of the first comments was an unexpected curveball. Some gentleman by the name of Rick Hand made this comment. My knee mill doesn't have a quill. How do I use your sign bar to set an angle on it? Boy, that was, that was a good curveball. So uh, trying to defend my late compound sign bar, I'm going to give you my attempt to hit that curveball. I'm going to call it, hang on, There it is. Precision Spindle Angle Van Norman number 12. That's what Rick has, right? That's what he told me. He's got a Van Norman number 12. How does he use my sign bar on that Van Norman? Uh, nice pitch, guy. Let me see if I can... Uh, let me see if I can do something with that. I went on the web, found a picture of a Van Norman number 12. It's a vertical and horizontal milling machine. Let me, let me just go up and down and say, get a, a length. You see, it's a knee mill, right? And what he's talking about is that orange section. That's the vertical spindle on the machine. It doesn't telescope. Then will I follow the mouse? See that mouse? That spindle is fixed, right? It can tip on an angle, but it, it can't telescope. It doesn't have a quill, like he said. Let me uh, let me give you a better peek at it. Where the hell is it? Sorry, I had to enlarge the picture so it could be seen. See the orange spindle there? I got this black line. See the follow the mouse. The black line is drawn to a graduated section. It says angle graduations. So it doesn't have a vernier scale or any in, anything intricate. It's just got graduations. You have to unbolt it, set it by eye, all right? How close are you? Who the hell knows? I'll tell you one thing. You're not sign bar close. And since I sell late compound sign bars, I want to show you how to use it. Hang on to your sneakers. All right, I'm going to take you back to the video we did, the challenge. Here's what I'm showing. This is on a regular vertical knee mill that has a quill. See the mouse? The quill telescopes out and goes back. Obviously, you hang an indicator off it. You see it? Put an indicator in the spindle. Set your, your sign bar, which is quick as hell. You go up and down, up and down, tapping the quill at the end, then lock it in when it's dead parallel. All right? That's taking me back to when we did it. Now let's go forward. I'll show you what I did here, what I'm doing. 
I drew up a theoretical of Van Nuyen and number 12 spindle. I got a one inch, well, let me put it to you this way. I drew the, I drew the, uh, well, we're talking about a low carbon type tolerance. That's a McMaster car number. That's a low carbon rod right here. See, that's a one inch bar. Oh, hang on, oh, yeah. Oh, you mentioned it. Vertical. And it's almost 11 inches long. Let me get out of this. Sorry for the interruption. I had to stop. I was knitting a, knitting a sweater. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to show you what this is. That's a Van Norman spindle here. I put a one inch bar in there. Nice, accurate uh, sunless ground bar. And we're putting an indicator on this rig. And the indicator will telescope up and down. I'll show you how it's going to do it, all right? I drew up a few Mickey Mouse parts. Let me explain it and we'll take you to the next level. All right? Uh, let me show you what I got here. How do I explain this? All right. You see this collar right here? This collar, you see that? It's got a piece of angle line and a hole in it, right? That hole there is gonna receive this here. This hole here in the indicator. As a matter of fact, I'll do it up here. See it on there? See that red section in the indicator? That's it. the lug on the bottom of the indicator. And this, it's got to match this. Let me do this. You see here, the black is, uh, is the angle line, and the red there, that, them two holes line up. You see this section? It's beyond that collar, a telescope. This, this clears that one inch bar. All right, hang on, let me put it back. I'll show you a side view of it. This here that I'm touching, that's the bar, that's the collar. This goes beyond the collar, but I'll show you. You see this part here, telescopes. But the indicator is beyond this. It's a bu this is above, that is above the bar. So we're safe. Uh, I just wanted to make that point. Hang on. All right. I want to take you over here for a minute. This is what we're going to end up doing. This goes up and down like the quill would go up and down. That spits up there, and this goes up and down. Here's a side view of the Van Norman table. All right? That's the narrow side of the table. You can see. The bar hangs out. By hand, you make this go up and down. All right? Uh, I got a built-in stop, so I'll show you. All right, let me go back. thing on animal. I'm going to move this up and show you. I'm going to 
I'll bring that indicator up at its final resting place. That's where it's going to be at the end of its travel. You see it? It's going to clear the quill. Now I'm going to move this up so it matches. Hang on, this takes, this is touchy. See that that screw hits that hits in the keyway. It, it bumps it. It won't allow the indicator to go up anymore. All right. How much travel does it have? This screw here, this screw is gonna bump where the keyway ends. Let me measure it for you. See it? The travel is four inches, 250. The sign bar is four inches, so you're good. Just wanted to make that point, okay? Let me show you the components. Three easy pieces to make. I'm showing you that one inch uh, low carbon bar, right? Doesn't have to be tool steel or Draw rod. It's nice and precise, and you've got an oil like bushing going on it. You'll never wear that sucker out. All right, I'm showing you the bar here. Two views. Top view, you can see it here. See the keyway? Doesn't go to the bottom. You see it stops short of that. That's where the screw hits. Screw hits there, and the screw hits here. I drew it sideways here, 90 degrees away, just to show you it, right? And I drew, you know, I cut it here, there's a cross section of it. I show the key here, in this one, and the key here, in that one, you see it? Alright, now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this well, let me do it this way. Let's start here. I got an oil like bushing. See where the mouse is? From the master car. Inch and a half OD, one inch ID. Alright, the ID matches the oil. This oil like bushing is slightly bigger. A few tenths bigger than one inch. This is a, a, a top view, right? Of it as you buy it. Now, as we go down, I mill a flat on it. See the narrow flat here? On the opposite side, a wider flat. Why is that? Well, you can see here, I'm showing you this. Here's a flat here, see where the mouse is? That's the narrow flat you see up here. That's the wide flat. And through it, these are two tap holes here, 1032, right in line with each other. You see it? All right, all right, now I'm going over here. I'm showing you the same oil like bushing with the plats. The screw, this screw, screws right down solid on the shoulder. Doesn't need a lock washer or anything, you just lock it in. This is showing the screw of, of this angle line down here. See the angle line? All right. And obviously, this is the indicator. I'm going to put them on there just to show you how it all works. It's a pain in the ass. OK. 
Okay, now I'm gonna, this is the shaft here. See the shaft? I'm gonna put this combination on there. Hang on. I do a lot of screwing up, so be patient. Here we go. Why did I do that? I want to show you. See the screw? There's a little clearance under the screw here. You see it? So the screw bumps and stops. It's got clearance here. Mickey Mouse, not a big deal. All right? So you got three pieces to make. A shaft where the mouse is. They're both young. To use the one shaft, you got to make this collar. See it here with the, with the four tap holes and a piece of angle iron. You see, it? there's three views of it. See that view, that view, and that view. Top view, side view, whatever. You see it all. It's all assembled here. All right. Now let me get you over here. Like I said, this is the Van Norman table, right? The shot side, right? This is the angle, 12 degrees, 12.436 degrees. That's sign by, you know, that's, you ain't getting that with them guys, you know, you ain't getting that by eye or with them uh, pickup sticks or whatever. So, now when you got this on there, obviously you're gonna run this up until it hits the stop and down until it hits the stop. You know, dial the table over so the indicator reads you, set it on zero, up, down, adjust, all that good shit. You know what I mean? This is the ticket. You understand what I mean? All right, now hang on to your sneakers. Like they say, see this says, thanks for watching, right? Like they say in Italy, hasta la pasta, baby.